Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome back to another Bionicle Classic Review. Today we'll be taking a look at Terex, another 2009 set. So Terex looks pretty good, and I have... Yeah, he's actually pretty thin. So, um, good news for this set, I actually do have the instructions, unlike for most of my Bionicle sets, so... For this set, I have the instructions for it. It's actually, this is the, um... I actually only have instructions for three of the Gotoyan for 2009, and um, one of them is for um, the summer or wave two of the 2009 sets. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the sets. So, this is Terex, as you can see, and he's a pretty nice guy. He's pretty cool. So, um, we'll go over color scheme, uh, pretty much the stuff we'd normally do. But before we do that, let's get on to the instructions. Okay, so here are the instructions for Terex, and as you can see, pretty nice instruction here, so still in neat condition I have them. So, Bionicle logo, we've got the name Terex right there, 8981, Glatorian, um, Lego logo, and then shows how you should Organize your parts inside, not outside, and the building instructions all the way through all of that. Yep, building instructions, and then the final product of what it should look like. Then the list of pieces, and then stuff on the Bionicle action figure game, as you can see. And, oh, there's a list of the Wave 1 sets for 2009. Lego Club advertisement, and then this. So, that is pretty much it for the instructions. Not really too much, same as same stuff as we normally get. Um, I kind of already looked at the ones for Malum, which as you did see. So, <clears throat> pretty much it for that. So, let's move on to the actual set now. Okay, so here's Terex, standing in all his glory. So, his color scheme is pretty neat, actually. It's, uh, it consists of gold, metro blue, and just the normal mod blue. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much his color scheme. Um, he does have these, which are, they're nice touch. They don't really blend in with the color scheme too, too well, but... That's something I kind of like, because if weapons are kind of integrated too well with the color scheme, they may not sometimes look like weapons, so I really like what they did for the weapons. And these were actually new pieces in 2009s, which is very nice. It's a, a melded piece, um, this like trans blue color, light blue color, with this gold piece, so that's very, very nice. So, and if you just, like, have that, it looks really cool if you just... Like do that. I don't know. I think it does. So that's his weapon, I guess. And pretty much his color scheme. For functions, he doesn't really have any functions except for the one for the Bionicle action figure game. And the uh, Thornax launcher. So, Thornax launcher, it's very simple. But it, what's different about him is that unlike Malum or Strack, he doesn't have it on his shoulder or his hand. He has it on his actual weapon, which is very nice to see on his uh, little sword. So you can uh, move it around, I guess. So if you want to do that, you can like shoot from behind while you're looking that way. So you can pose it in all ways you want, but I think it looks best like that. And you could still shoot it too. So basically how it works is, well, you put the Thornax in, and by the way, these were new pieces back in 2009, rubber pieces. They weren't really used too much. They were, like, used in, like, one Ninjago set after Bionicle. So, you place the Thornax in on the little black line, as you can see there. And then you press down on these, on the little Thornax launcher, and boom, it shoots. Just like that. And you could do it as many times as you want. And what's very nice about this is that it's kind of hard to lose it just because of how bouncy it is. It's made of rubber, by the way, and then that black part is just plastic. So yeah, it's very nice that's made of rubber. You can't really lose it, unlike all of the other, like, spheres or whatever, like the 
Enica type stuff weapons. So you don't you can't really lose those. There isn't really any other functions besides that and the auction figure game. So, anyways, pretty much it for him. But uh, now, I don't know what to go over. Um, so there's not really too much about him, actually. Nice color scheme. Um, we've got the Bionicle action figure game, which I might as well go over right now. So, the Bionicle action figure game, if you did pause the video to read through... The instructions, you would have saw this. And if you want to, you can go ahead and pause the video right here if you want to read that. Some of it's in a different language. So, there you go. If you want to read this, you can go ahead and pause the video. There. Alright, so... Basically, the Bionicle action figure game works like this. So, you have your um, guys set up like this. You have them from separate areas. Uh, you need to have the canister, which I unfortunately don't have, because I don't really have the canisters. I don't really have the, any of the boxes or canisters for any of my Bionicle sets, except for the new ones. And for actually five, I still have five canisters, well, whatever. Not really. Alright, so you get the canisters, and you get your uh, figure that you get, and you place them like this next to each other. Canister next to the figure, and then you you have to go up against your opponents and stuff. And so basically you have to um, set your life to 5, so on like the back of your character you should have this thing, and you need to set it to 5, so that shows how many lives you have. Then, the next thing is that whoever's turn it is, so you can choose whoever wants to go first, I guess. So, um, you have to shoot your thorn axe either at the canister or your opponent player. So, it looks like if you hit the canister, it's, um, your opponent loses one life, and if you hit your opponent, he loses two lives. So, yeah. And if it bounces back, you have to, um... You have to move up to wherever it lands, like that. And then you continue that process and take turns and stuff. So it's very simple. So um, let me just go ahead and uh, I'll be right back and I'll get a uh, guy right here. I'll get barracks. Okay, so I got barracks here to have our little demonstration of the game. So uh, let's just pretend he has a thing on his back and stuff. So, and uh, well, I don't know. We'll just pretend something is... The canister. Let's pretend this is the canister. It's. It, I'm. I'm just doing a little demonstration here, so you can see the white thing right there. So basically, you hit your guy, your opponent. You move up to where it lands. He loses two lives, so he's down to three lives. You hit this. There. You move up to where it landed, and your opponent loses one life, so you go down to two lives. So it's a very simple game. Very, very simple. Um, another thing that they actually did feature in the commercials is you can um, use these Agori as your defenders or blockers. Um, this wasn't in the instructions at all, but they did do a commercial on this where you can have their Agori uh, block um, block you so then you can pr they can protect you. Um, that seems like a pretty cool, nice thing, they, cool feature, I guess. So I guess you can do that if you want. I don't. There wasn't any instructions on how to play, but I'm assuming they would have. Um, that would be. You would also be able to do that. So that's pretty much the play features and stuff. I think we should just go ahead and move on to the end of the video. There really isn't too much to cover with this guy. So, anyways, we're pretty much at the end of the video now. But as always, we're gonna go over my likes and dislikes. So my likes about the set would definitely be his pose, the ability to be able to pose him. He does really good poses like this one. It's really, really cool. So he's really good at posing. I really like that. I think it's the swords. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but uh, his torso is pretty flat. And I'm not actually sure if I like it or if I don't like it. So it's this nice, uh, they put this a Nika armor piece for his chest, like kind of like Strack, but it's more flat, so I'm not sure what I want to think about it, if having a flat body, I'm not too sure yet. Um, 
Another thing I do like is how they integrated the um, the Thornax launcher with the uh, water blade, or I can't remember what it was actually called. I like liquid. I, I I don't know. I don't know if it was called something. I'm just gonna call it water blades for now. So uh, yeah, I really like how they did that. Um, another thing about the set when I was building it, I was able to find all the correct pieces, and for most of these 2009 sets, they should be built quite correctly, just because I was able to find the piece. pieces. Now, some of them probably won't be, just because uh, some of the pieces, uh, mainly on Grash and stuff, are a little bit uh, broken. So I had to replace them with pieces that aren't the exact pieces, but whatever. He has the right exact pieces, so he's built perfectly. I think. I'm pretty sure he is. So, uh, yeah, that's something I just like about him. Um, I also, another th new, new, new thing they added uh, was this um, Iron Man headpiece. I forgot to mention it, but I remember now. So they added the Iron Man head, yeah. And this in this set, you get it in green, which is very nice. And they, don't believe me, they weren't actually called Iron Man heads. That's what I've been calling them for the Bionicle Classic reviews lately. So, yeah, don't you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just calling it because they look like Iron Man. So, uh, yeah. Um, now for my dislikes about the set. I'm not a huge fan on these little spikes coming out from his armor. Because they do cause some problems. And one of the main problems is, is that they fall off super easily. They're just connected by that much. They can't, it's kind of, they can fall off very frequently. And it, it's a bit annoying. So, yeah, they can fall off easily. But they do look pretty cool. They look cool, so I like that. But they fall off easily, so I don't like that. Um, I do like the, um, the, the Mata Blue. I'm pretty sure it's actually Mata Blue. I'm not actually too sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. I do like this uh, Mata Blue. Um, it blends in very nicely with the set and the Metro Blue, so it looks very nice. And I also do like the gold. So pretty much I like the color scheme. Pretty much. But other than those things, there isn't really too much else to go over. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And keep building!